Hi, so let's start with the lab four. In this lab, we will focus on the how we can configure the secondary IP address on the existing configured interface. When to use, where to use, and how to use. In this diagram, we have the Palo Alto Fireball connected to the core switch via interface Ethernet one slash one. Ethernet one slash one. Having IP address 10.1.10.1/24. So total, how many IP address you will get it here? Start from 10.1.10.1 and end till 10.1.10.254. Guys, consider all the IP address on the subnet is used for endpoints. For any other devices, it means my pool is now exhausted. I don't have any more IP address, but I want to onboard more users, more devices in the VLAN ten. How to address this issue? I don't want to create new VLAN. I don't want to create a new interface on the Palo Alto firewall. I don't want any new additional zone, but I want to. Expand the, or I can say I want to introduce new subnets for the VLAN 10 without changing any L2 and L3 configuration. Yes, Palo Alto does support secondary IP address. On a physical interface on which you already have the IP address, you can configure one more IP address or one more subnet on the same interface. Clear? Okay. Let's move on. Problem statement: Existing pool exhausted. We don't have a more IP address, right? To configure the endpoints. Okay. Let's go to the Palo Alto firewall. Go to the network. Under network, guys, here you can see. Uh oh. Interface. Ethernet one slash one. Now we will configure the two subnets to the one interface. First. As I said in the my lab two, change it to the L three, then virtual router which is the default virtual router, security zone. Let's go and create security zone LAN. Okay, and then go to the IP v four and assign the IP address. My bad, sorry. The window should be here so that you can you guys can see easily. Ten dot one dot ten dot one slash twenty four, and one more IP address you can add it over here, right? Click on the add ten dot one dot eleven dot one slash twenty four. Right now, here look at over here. The first IP address is always considered as a primary IP address, and the in this case the second IP address consider will consider as a secondary IP address. If you want to promote your primary IP address as a uh, secondary IP address as the primary IP address, we have an option: move up, move down. Correct. So the top IP address will be the always the primary IP address, and whatever IP address you have mentioned below, first IP address, those IP addresses or subnet will consider as a secondary. Clear. I don't think there is a change any uh, further changes. Okay, go and click on the OK. Interface management profile. If you try to ping your gateway IP address from endpoint, you must require the interface management profile and intra zone policy should be allowed. Just refer my lab uh, uh, two. Yes, a uh, two and three. Uh, come on, fast. Go to the interface management profile. Uh, it's already there. LAN management profile ping is already allowed, so go to the interface. Ethernet one slash one. Uh, then advanced management interface management profile. Click OK. OK. Uh, currently policy is not required, right? Why I am telling you? Even though if the machine connected to the machine connected to the ten dot one dot Eleven dot zero slash twenty four subnet will able to ping 
machine connected to the 10.1.10.1 why because both the subnets configured under ethernet 1/1 and ethernet 1/1 is a part of security zone lan so firewall perspective right ethernet 1/1 is a in, in, ingress and same interface ethernet 1/1 is the egress so policy will be source zone lan to zone lan which is my intra zone policy and by default intra zone policy allow all the traffic clear simple okay let's see the status right do one thing guys mean the time let's configure the endpoint ip address okay now i have a two endpoint one which is in the vlan 10 right you can see the ip address uh go to the cmd ip config correct 10.1.10.10 and now let's configure the ip address to the machine or my bad property ipv4 and change the ip address 10.1.11.10 and gateway should be 10.1.11.1 oh, oh not triple 11.1 10.1.11.1 okay 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 see one machine from 10.1.11.1 and another machine we have configured under subnet 10.1.10.1 okay then go to the end point where is my end point any end point you can use to ping cmd my ip address 10.1.11.10 just try to ping 10.1.10.10 yes i am able to ping right policy is not required why the uh, even though there is a no change required on the switch end because both the machine belongs to the vlan 10 and vlan 10 are now associated with the two subnets or i can say vice versa two subnet associated with the one single vlan go to the monitoring and under monitoring you can see the logs right see the logs okay here you go look at the logs guys look at the logs okay if you look at the logs you can see the logs source ip 10.1.11.10 destination ip 10.1.10.10 ingress and egress interface 1/1 from zone lan to zone lan by default intra zone is allowed uh what about the routing table of course your firewall will install the both the routes in the routing table 10.1.10.0/24 and 10.1.11.0/24 go to the virtual router under virtual router you can see more run times that there you can see the both the route has been now installed in the routing table 10.1.10.0/24 interface ethernet 1 and 10.1.11.0/24 uh, ethernet 1 correct so you can configure the you can configure the mini ip addresses it, 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 it is not the case where you can only configure the two ip address no you can configure the multiple clear okay question on the secondary interface can primary ip address of the physical interface and the secondary ip address share the same mac address yes both are share the same mac address what is the mac address right of your interface e1e01 
so let's go and check it on the end point a r p hyphen a see your default gateway is 10.1.11.1 which is the secondary ip address configured on the ethernet 1 slash 1 1 e 0 1 go to the vlan 10 where we have the old subnet cmd a r p hyphen a here you go you can see the 10.1.10.1 associated with the or I can say uh, the MAC address of the 10.1.10.1 is 1E01 clear so irrespective of primary secondary IP address both the IP address right we share the same MAC address perfect thank you so much bye bye stay tuned